Hey foodies, welcome to my garden. I love rhubarb because it's one of the first things that comes up in spring and it tells me that summer is just around the corner. And I'm gonna show you how to make strawberry rhubarb crisp. Oh, I can't wait to show you. So come on. Got my rhubarb chopped, my strawberries here, and I've got all the other ingredients ready for me. And you can check out the recipe here. And while you're writing that recipe down, I'm gonna note that I'm not using a food mixer at all. I'm just gonna do it all by hand with my with bowls and a spoon because that's how easy it really is. And I'm gonna start by adding my strawberries and my rhubarb, hence strawberry rhubarb crisp, my sugar, and just a pinch of salt. And I'm gonna mix all of this up really lightly. And now I'm going to take a buttered pie plate and I'm going to put all of this into the pie plate just like so. Doesn't that look good already? It smells really good too. Now I'm going to take a different bowl and I'm going to add gluten-free rolled oats, my brown sugar, my flour, another pinch of salt, and I'm gonna mix this up. The brown sugar you wanna make sure is packed, and packed just means when you take the measuring cup, you pack it down so that it comes out in, in like a, a shape, whereas white sugar, it's, it's a lot drier, so it packs itself naturally. Okay, so I've mixed that. I'm gonna add my cold butter. Spread and press all those butter pieces together so that you're flattening it out and breaking them up into little pea-sized shapes. Make sure you get all that sugar crumbled up as well. Okay, so I've Mix this up, I've broken the, the butter up. Some big chunks still, still remain, but that's okay. I'm gonna take, and I'm going to add this to the top. Spread it out, just like so. And I'm gonna put this in the oven for about 30 to 35 minutes at 350 degrees and then we're gonna pull it out and we're gonna see what it looks and tastes like. Look at that crisp, it looks wonderful. Oh, and it, it smells delightful. I can't wait to sink my teeth into this. Let's see. I'm just gonna take a little spoon of it. I can only imagine what it's going to taste like with a bit of ice cream. But, I'm going to see. Mmm. It's not too tart from the, the rhubarb. It's the right amount of sweetness. It's really, really quite nice. I look forward to hearing all of your comments on whether this is one of your favorite dishes or not. Thanks for watching.